don't know. I think the people on TikTok were definitely exaggerating. So I got my hair redone and I got a few products to put in my scalp as someone that works out. I had never seen this stuff by Talia Wajid until I went to the beauty supply. So I picked up like the three step hair refresh system and I'll be trying it out and I'll let you guys know how I liked it. But I know some of you guys just like to buy stuff as soon as you see it. So I'll show you what I got at the beauty supply store for anyone that's wondering what I'm using in my hair currently besides waterless. I was using waterless before, like the dry, dry shampoo foam that they have, but I wanted to try this stuff out. Okay, so this stuff is by Talia Wajid, and it's a dry gel shampoo is the first step, and it's it says that it's for like locks and braids and all that kind of stuff. And then after you put in the restoring serum, and then this is the third step, which is a hair grow bamboo coconut milk oil. They had another oil too, but I picked this one. And then I also picked up the green apple and aloe seed oil. And then my mom's obsessed with Hawaiian Silky. She loves it. And I didn't know they had a braid spray, so I picked up the braid spray because it has tea tree oil in it and my scalp does get pretty itchy. So um, that's kind of outside of what I was talking about, but... This is the protective style system from Talia Wajid, which this is like similar to what a dry shampoo would do. It's a dry gel shampoo, but it's more like targeted towards ethnic hair. So I picked these all up at the beauty supply. They were $9.99 each. I'm sure you could probably get it cheaper online somewhere. I also saw a brand on Instagram called My Sunday to Sunday. It's a black owned business, but it's like a hundred something dollars. So. I wanted to try this out first, see how I like it. If I don't love it, maybe I will branch out and try my Sunday to Sunday. My friend Courtney uses it on Instagram and she raves about it. So I'll try to link this if I can find it online and my Sunday to Sunday if you wanna just jump to that down below as well. Also, also, if you love the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream from Sephora, Trader Joe's has this dupe right now. It's the same notes, pistachio and salted caramel, same exact smell. To me, it feels a little thicker than the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, but go and get it because you know Trader Joe's gets rid of stuff very quickly if you love that and you want a cheaper dupe. I had to submit some pictures for Hoover. Um, this isn't a Hoover video, but I had to submit these pictures, so I threw some chia seeds on the ground and I forgot to clean them up, so clean them up really quick. I have a clothing haul for you, which is quite weird because I don't do like clothing hauls very often. I'm pretty much living in activewear always or like streetwear, athleisure type of things. But I do wear dresses quite often as well. That's kind of the base of my wardrobe. I have like one pair of jeans with a couple of tops and then like four or five dresses that I rotate through, which I call my capsule wardrobe. But I've had those dresses for so long now. It's been like two years to four years for some of them. So I thought it was time for me to update those dresses and kind of send some of my pre-loved dresses over to Dress for Success. So I thrifted all of my new favorite dresses. Um, I know a lot of the times when I see plus size thrift hauls, it's from ThreadUp. I haven't been able to find much on ThreadUp and sometimes it's kind of hard to filter on ThreadUp. I just prefer Poshmark. I know a lot of people like Depop too, but I'm kind of scared of Depop because they don't have the same guidelines for their shippers. Like on Poshmark, you have to ship within seven days, otherwise the buyer, like me, I'm able to cancel my order if they don't ship. But Depop, they're kind of like open and have free range and like, I hear their customer support's not as good. If you have experience with Depop, let me know if that's true and if my fears are irrational and if I should try Depop as well. But I got four new dresses from Poshmark. Most of them are from Torrid. So the first one I got is this little, it's called a scrunch mini dress and it's off the shoulder. As you can tell, and it's a pretty floral with a bell sleeve. Um, the seller came down on this one. It's a tiny, tiny dress. 
The seller came down on this one, I think close to 25% and offered me a shipping discount. If you shop on Poshmark, what I like to do is like the items, just hit the little heart button. And then typically the seller will contact you with a little shipping discount or something, or you can offer if you don't wanna wait for the seller to do that. I offer sometimes, sometimes my offers get denied because some I feel like people list their stuff for so much money sometimes. But this dress is like pretty much brand new. It doesn't seem like it's ever been washed. It looks like it came straight out of Torrid. So I was super excited for that one and I think it looks super cute on. You don't have to wear a bra with it. I love. So the next dress is also from Torrid. This one's a tad bit longer. It's off the shoulder as well, but you can pull this one a little bit further up your arm than the last one. It's like a chambray type material, but it still has the scrunch like chalice top. And this one has pockets as well. And like I said, it's a little bit longer than the last one. Again, you don't have to wear a bra. I thought it was so cute, so my style. And the thing is like before I went shopping on Posh, I went to Torrid and I just did not like anything there at all at the current moment. These are all like a couple years old. And then I went to Lane Bryant and it kind of reminded me how hard it is to shop plus size, especially in the store. And then I did my rounds. I went to Eloquia, I went to Fashion Figure, um, a bunch of different online shops, Shein, which there's a whole bunch of debate over Shein and like them stealing people's designs and stuff. So I really just didn't want to be a part of that, even though they do have really like pretty cute, affordable plus size stuff. I shopped some of the anthropology cell. I wasn't super into any of it. And I was afraid if I got it and didn't love it, you know, you can't return it. I checked a beautiful soul. I wasn't super into anything they had. So like just nothing felt like my style right now. <laughs> and clearly like maybe my style is stuck in the past, but I like what I like. So Poshmark ended up being the thing that worked out for me. I got this dress from Lane Bryant. Both of those last dresses were in a size two. And then I got this dress from Lane Bryant. It's 1820. It's a tank top dress with a little flutter um, top like a ruffle top and then it's just a long maxi in this pretty powder blue color I know Lane Bryant sold this like two years ago because I went and tried it on at the time and I really love this dress it's just so fun and romantic feeling I actually have this dress in the pink version but the pink version of it has a spaghetti strap and I'm actually gonna be getting rid of that one because it has a big stain at the bottom that I kind of was able to fade but it started to like look too obvious now I wore it to LA a few years ago I loved 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 that pink dress and I'm excited to have the blue one and I do actually like that it has a thicker strap so that I can wear a bra if I want to and the last dress that I picked up from Poshmark is this little skater kind of fit and flare dress it has some darting here at the bust as well and it has this little arrow type design on it this is a very old torrid dress and when i looked at the tag that they show on the poshmark listing uh torrid used to put what date their clothing was cut and this was cut in 2016 so that's how dated this dress is it's in a size 22 which fits me absolutely perfectly i wish it had pockets but i don't think in 2016 dresses with pockets was <laughs> as big of a deal as it is now but i love the fit of this i love the color of it i think it's absolutely adorable and i'm glad that i own it now and then a couple of things that came in um i'm wearing a universal standard next to nothing bodysuit right now and they sent me this one to promote on TikTok of all places. I don't really make that many TikToks, but I'll link my TikTok here. Um, this is the new Ivy color and they are softer now than my last ones. Like this fabric is much softer than this one that I have on. I also have two blue ones of these and I had a second black one, but I gave one of them to my friend Natalie. And I'm excited to have this. They're so nice for yoga because you don't have to worry about 
your pants falling down. They just stay up and it's so comfortable. It has a perfect amount of support through the bust for yoga, but you would have to wear a bra if you're gonna wear it like to any other kind of class. And what I love about this is so easy breezy for the airport too. You could just wear a denim jacket or tie a denim jacket around your waist in case you get cold on the plane. But it's just a one piece, super easy getting through security. You don't have to wear a bra if you don't want to because it does have a tiny little seam built in that gives you just enough support. So I love these universal standard next to nakeds. They did have them on sale until July 3rd. I'm not sure if this video will be up by July 3rd. If it is, the code is N2N50. So next to naked 50 and their original $95. So I'll try to get this out before that so that if you want to try that for 50 bucks, you can. Um, the next thing I picked up, <laughs> These are Wonder Train, my favorite ever leggings from Lululemon. These are on the We Made Too Much section, so I got them for $69 or $79 versus the $98 that Lululemon leggings typically are. These are size 16, that's my size in Lululemon. Their stuff runs incredibly large, it's definitely vanity sizing. I love just the Lululemon emblem. They have a little drawstring so that they can kind of move along with you depending on what your weight is. And these are in the cropped, so they're 20 something inch, I don't know, 25 I think. So they're a little bit cropped. I got these, I was so excited that they ended up on We Made Too Much because I wanted them when they were full price and I was like, Ooh, I'm not sure, but the color's beautiful and it's so me and pink and poppy and I am obsessed. And then the last thing is this uh, Lululemon Pivot tank. And I have this in black and it's my favorite tank. Like, I love wearing it to the gym. It's the only cropped like tank that I'll wear to the gym because it does not budge. It stays in place with you. So I absolutely love it. So I picked up the dark camo which was also on We Made Too Much for $39. I think they're $58. So it's the dark camo and you can wear it this way and it's V-neck or you can turn it around and it's high neck, which I love wearing it high neck. I think it looks super sexy high neck because it cuts perfectly along the side and holds like that side fat in. I freaking love it and then the back will show whatever sports bra you're wearing like if you have a cute strappy sports bra the back of the shirt will show it but you can wear it v-neck if you want to as well so i love these tanks i love the dark camo i have the dark camo pants and the dark camo oversized crew so i was like yes i have a full set so i'm gonna wear this with the pants and it'll look super cute or you can pair it with other stuff I was just so excited that it was on We Made Too Much because I love a good deal, so. Mm, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I just pruned like the whole bottom of this because peppers are growing super low. This is everything that I took off. And they were growing just super low to the soil. So I took the leaves off the bottom, so hopefully it'll like redirect the growth up and then the plant's not trying to like nurse these leaves that are really doing nothing at the bottom but I have a bunch growing there there is a very creepy spider there and then I picked those today and then my cucumbers are flowering look at all those flowers crazy and which I did not expect my melons are also flowering we'll see if they produce or not but isn't it crazy how much these vines have grown since I first showed you that I planted them it's insane and this is just one plant but like look and this is getting ready to do its thing too and this is like the initial leaf that I had showed that was just like dead I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one off though um, and it's doing great it didn't matter that it was like kind of a rough starter plant and this is that one that was basically dying and it's still dying so I don't think it's gonna end up doing anything but I'm just still watering it and then the okra is huge like this was like two leaves anyhow there's like the baby baby ones the focus on this camera is not as good as my vlogging camera but you can see them anyways. Okay. 
scissors. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one. And then that'll go in the compost. I ordered that um, compost bin from, what's that place that makes, oh, Pella. It's still in Kickstarter, but when it gets here, I'll add it. And then there was another one I was gonna cut. I lost it. Oh, this guy. Right here. In the meantime, those will go to the farmer's market compass. I feel like I should probably prune this one too because it's trying to flower way down here. And the only one on here currently is this one. I picked the other couple. This one got eaten by caterpillars really badly. So I feel like if I prune it, then maybe I'll get more growth out of it. And this is the other bell pepper plant, and it looks like it's going to do well because it's not as like mangled as this one. Listen, Tati had barely finished her sentence before I had this in my cart and at my house. <laughs> you guys know I love a kitschy wellness product and that is precisely what this is. There are 14 of each. They're like, think emergency, but with gold foil lettering. Yes, we love it. So <laughs> I got two, one of each. They were on sale. They're, I was just gonna get one. But they were on sale for like $9 instead of $19, so I got two of them. Exo Tati. But anyhow, I'll try them later. I'm, I'm trying to preserve them for like if I feel under the weather. So I'm not going to be drinking them every day. But I did buy them. I have a quick Trader Joe's haul. I went to H-E-B <laughs> to get these because Trader Joe's was out of mini bagels this week. So I ran and got some from... H-E-B, I got these for the dogs because I got them one last week and they absolutely loved them. And I'm pretty sure these are like limited. So I got another one. Even Bella, her little old self, was jumping up and down. It was so cute to get these. So I got the girls one more bag. I got some wheat pitas, whole wheat pitas. I got some parsley and tomatoes. These are for a white bean salad that I'm going to be making. I also got two more portobello mushroom caps. I got two avocados, a bag of lemons. The big ones were like hard as a rock. Oh my gosh. I got two of these because they're supposed to be similar to halloumi. And it's the garlic bread cheese. And it's basically like a hard cheese that you can grill, well, like a squishy cheese that you can grill. And this one is just the cheese and like some garlic flavor. So I got two of those because, well, good job, Eden. Good thing I have this one. <laughs> they last until December. So I got two because, you know, everything at Trader Joe's doesn't last very long, like on the shelves, not as in shelf life. Got this Brazil nut body butter as well. And then I got a cucumber. I picked up their creamer. I've never tried it before. It's just the sweet cream. Last week I got their almond and coconut vanilla one and I didn't like it. The taste was a little interesting for me. I got some organic great northern beans for my white bean salad. I got organic peach fruit spread to go on my mini bagels <laughs> you sit there and then i got some eggplant hummus for my wraps i'm gonna make like a white bean wrap with i don't know maybe some shrimp or uh tuna might even be good in it so i got that i got some chocolate croissants i saw these on tiktok and it was like a freaking impulse buy while I was there. And then I got one of the coconut cold brew, and then I got one of the regular cold brews. And what is this? Oh, I'm excited about this too. The organic spicy hot honey. I'm gonna use this probably on some avocado toast. It looks so good, and I have some sourdough in the freezer, so. 
this is probably going to go on that or maybe on top of like a pizza like a veggie pizza do some chili flakes in this on top and then the last thing which i'm sure you oh i dropped something um these ice cream sandwiches my friend laura lee we have the same last name she is a holistic chef and she's so obsessed with these these are always her little treat and she says they're so good and i've never tried them so i got one and i dropped that on the ground and then i got some cilantro as well because i'm putting parsley cilantro chives and lemon in my white bean salad so that is my very messy <laughs> disheveled trader joe's haul okay i'm so excited let me get my camera ready i just got my circle water bottle this vlog camera has the screen over there and i just want to make sure i'm in focus but i will get used to looking here <laughs> so i got my water bottle from circle I'm sure if you use TikTok, you have seen this all over TikTok. And if you're on WW, in the Wellness Wins portion of the app, there's a, it's either 10 or $15 gift card. And since I have so many points on there, I traded it in for a circle gift card. And then I used someone else's like starter kit link, which was like, get a bottle and four sips or something like that for eight dollars <laughs> so i used that link but i upgraded to the metal water bottle instead of the plastic which may or may not be a bad idea depending if i like this or not because then otherwise i have this water bottle that you really can't use without using their little sips system so hopefully i like it <laughs> um and then i used the weight watchers a gift card and it was like very inexpensive to get this whole thing so i ended up getting a blue water bottle because they only had a couple of colors i wanted to get the metal instead of the plastic one so i think this is 30 ounces mm, it doesn't say but it does have a rubber thing on the bottom to keep it from falling over and then i mean it was very simple packaging like there's nothing to this <laughs> um this is the lid and then the little cartridge goes through here so it's just like basically a zero calorie zero sugar water enhancement think like a crystal light or something um and i got a few different ones they have ones that are just like a sugar-free drink then they have some that are similar to like a hint water where they don't taste sweet but you get the essence of the fruit they have some that are enhanced with, uh, I think, B vitamins and electrolytes. And then they have some that are coffee, which, you know, I got. <laughs> so I got coffee ones as well. And they do have this thing called a sip saver. I will put it on the screen. It's basically like an AirPods case for your sips. So you can change them from day to day. Like if you want to drink tea in the morning and uh, this one that has the electrolytes after the gym, you can change it, but they recommend putting it in this sip saver cartridge to do that. Um, because if you leave them out, they are wet, they can mold. So you can't open like all of these at one time. I've seen people do that. Mostly people that are sponsored <laughs> um, open all of them and try every flavor. I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna show you the flavors that I got and I'll update you over time on which ones I like. I think I'll open two, a coffee and then a regular. Um, so that's basically the rundown. You're supposed to get anywhere from the large bottles, four um, bottles per sip, six bottles for the small ones, depending on the level of sweetness you select. Once I open this, you'll be able to see that you can uh, change it from, I believe, a one to a nine for like the sweetness level. I don't like things super sweet, so I'm predicting I'll be around a three or a four for how sweet I want it. So I got, how many sips? One, two, three, four, five. I got five sips. This one is the Fit Sip, which is replenishing electrolytes. And this one is in orange tangerine. I also got a Life Sip, which is nutritious vitamins. And this one is watermelon. Fit sip or life sip. Then I got a tea sip. This one is ca 
caffeinated. So they do have some tea, like there's a lemon tea that is not caffeinated, but the raspberry and peach tea are caffeinated. So just if you watch your caffeine intake, just watch which ones you end up buying. So this is the peach one. This is the caramel iced coffee, which is the one that I'm super excited about. And this one's also caffeinated. So I'll probably open this one and then one other flavor. And then I also got the sweet tea and lemon, which is a life sip as well, and it is uncaffeinated. So this is like the basic line, sweet tea and lemon. Now the sip replacements, I've seen different, people say different things. I think that Circle, from when they first rolled out and sent influencers or stuff, they were a little bit cheaper, but now their prices have gone up quite a bit. So it's $3.75 each if you want to buy them without a subscription. But if you sign up for a subscription, you can get them for around $3 each. And you can get, I think the plans um, start from like six or eight per month. Um, and then they can go up from there if you're someone that drinks like them on a high sugar level, like the high sweetness level, and you might go through them more often. But I've heard some people say that they can use theirs for like two weeks because they don't use like high sweetness. So it just depends if you think you need a subscription or not. And it is a little bit confusing. Like some of the influencer links go straight to buy it a la carte without a subscription. And some of them try to hone you into a subscription. So if you don't want a subscription, just like retype circle, drink circle into Google to try to go in a different way because they have so many custom links for different influencers. But I will put my affiliate link down below, not sponsored. Anyone who signs up and buys circle, you can automatically become an affiliate. And if you buy a circle, I think I get two of these free and you get a discount or something like that. And then um, if you show people it and they like it, you can get free sips as well if someone clicks your link. So I'll put that down below. Again, this is unsponsored. I'm not that kind of affiliate with them. I'm just a customer affiliate. So I'm gonna go wash my bottle and I think we will try, let's try the watermelon and we'll try the coffee. Okay, I filled up my water bottle, maybe a little too far. And I hope this isn't a total flop because I bought the big metal bottle um, because you know, sometimes reviews aren't real. So we're gonna open the watermelon. I just put the lid on. I'm gonna open the watermelon, sip, and Oh, it smells good. It just looks like this. And then you put it into the hole and twist it on. And then this little cap, I see a little, a lot of people fiddling with the cap. It actually locks into here so that your mouth, it's not hitting you in the mouth. So on the top, there's a flavor dial. There's an X and the X means that you're just getting water. One annoying thing about this bottle is you can't drink like this. You have to flip it up. So um, I'll see if you can see the cap. So right now it is on X. Oops. And then you twist this to make it sweeter. So there's numbers on each one. I think I filled mine too high. I'm gonna put it on three. Yeah, I definitely filled mine too high. So I'm gonna put it on three. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see the number in there or not. Um, and then we'll try that and see how it is. Ooh, that's good. Three's perfect for me, which means that this cartridge would probably last me like a week and a half. I'm gonna put it on, the highest it goes is nine. I'm gonna put it on seven. Put it on seven. See, it's not leaking anymore now that there's not as much water. <laughs> I just filled mine super high. Um, I'm gonna put it on seven just for science and we'll see. 
way too sweet. Like, someone put an extra cup of sugar in their Kool-Aid sweet. <laughs> but the watermelon is lit. But I'm going to put it back on three. Perfect. That's really good. So I'm going to take out, actually I'm going to put it on X. But what I do really like about this is that you can put it on X. Like, you don't have to drink watermelon all day if you don't want to. You could put it on X. Let's see if like there's any flavor breakthrough when I put it on X or if it's just straight water right away. No, nope, it's just water. Like there's no remnants of watermelon at all. You'll just have to experiment with flavors and they're leaky. So just make sure you have something to catch your leaks if you're switching flavors or get their sip saver but again this is like something you have to decide do you want to invest in this and use this long term I bought it with the intention of knowing I didn't spend a lot of money because I had a gift card and if I don't like it I can ask a friend if they want it or whatever but like if you do love it and you're like I want to drink coffee sip every morning and in the afternoon I want to have watermelon um, you might want to get the sip saver to help preserve your flavor because I hear after a few, so like seven days you don't want to keep it around so this is the caramel iced coffee let's add this one in and this is a little bit it's just a little leaky overall. So I'm going to go ahead and start this one on three as well. And see how we like our caramel iced coffee. <laughs> okay, so that's not quite strong enough, but it reminds me of, what is it? The Starbucks Frappuccinos in the bottle not the ones you get through like made at starbucks but like the bottled frappuccinos or like the 7-eleven where you push the button and it dispenses it but it's the hot ones that kind of a coffee flavor is what you get and that's not bad it's just like it's like the aftertaste of coffee is what you get as a three i'm gonna bump it up to a five This one, it's like, it's clear that you're drinking water, but what, like with a cough, okay, this is definitely the flavor. It's when you have drinking all of your iced coffee and like the last bit of ice is mixing <laughs> with the coffee at the bottom, that's what it tastes like. Like when you have like just the tiniest bit of iced coffee left and your ice is starting to melt in the bottom, that's what this one tastes like. And maybe this is one that you really have to bump up the flavor. Let's go up to an eight. I just had it on a five and we'll see what that's like. And I need to not be drinking this much caffeine at like 3, 3.33 uh, p.m. So. Yeah. Making it stronger doesn't make it taste any different really it's still that exact same taste and it's because it's not creamy like coffee is it's water still so you get the taste of coffee but it tastes like watered down coffee <laughs> so i don't know i think the people on tiktok were definitely exaggerating how good the iced coffee flavors were and that's not to say that i won't get the iced coffee again because i don't necessarily think it's bad like I don't think it tastes bad I'm like huh that's different especially if you're like on a day where you don't feel like running to Starbucks but you want some caffeine or whatever it's fine it's just not like mmm like everyone was saying yeah I put it back on four and yeah it's fine I I don't know I can't really say if I would buy the coffee one again, honestly. I think I would stick to probably the fruity flavors and just drink it as like water. But if I want something that just tastes, sometimes you just get tired of drinking water and you want a different flavor. Like the watermelon 
is better. I don't know which one is which. I don't think they say which flavor they are on there. And I didn't pay attention to which one I sat down. So I think I would probably stick with the flavors and not do the coffee. For me personally, when I'm drinking water, I don't want to drink caffeine as water because this is supposed to be like an easier way to hydrate and for you to get a little bit of flavor. I don't personally want to be drinking caffeine along with that. So I wanted to get like the tea one to try and the coffee one to try. But going forward, if I keep up with it, I'll get the non-caffeinated tea one and then just get the regular, like maybe I'll electrolyte from time to time. And then, um, you know, just like the watermelon, the regular ones. So that's what I think about Circle so far. Um, an honest, unsponsored review here for you guys. And I'm just gonna keep mine on like three and then I get a little bit of flavor and then go to water for the rest of the day. Just have like one or two of these a day of flavor. So there's my circle, my circle bottle review. <laughs> Like the movies, how it's gonna stay in the fight.